What's up guys, Eric Rivera here, Fitness Phenom. Coming to you guys with another dope video. This one, how to gain size or how to gain mass with calisthenics, right? Um, a lot of you have, have been reaching out to me, DMing me, messaging me, essentially telling me that I look different, I look much bigger, I look like I've gained some muscle um, over the past couple years compared to my older videos. Some of my videos in uh, That's Good That's Good Money's channel. Shout out to That's Good Money. Um, and the answer is yes, you're right. Absolutely right. I've gained size. I'm the heaviest I've actually ever been. I'm at 160 pounds, which is the heaviest I've been. Um, and I did put on some size compared to the older videos, right? So um, before we get started with the routine, I want to explain a couple of things. So how did I go about that? Number one. The most important thing that you want to do in order to gain size, whether that's through calisthenics, through weights, doesn't matter. You must take in more calories than what you are burning, meaning you must eat more than what you're burning throughout the day. So you have to eat. That's very important. That is imperative if you want to gain size. Right? Yes, you may gain some size through sets and reps and through exercise, etc., depending on what it is that you're working on, but you will be limited unless you are taking in more calories than what you are burning, right? If you're burning more calories than what you are eating, you're going to lose weight, right? So if you wanna gain some muscle, gain some size, you must take in more calories than what you are burning. Secondly, let's talk about rep ranges, right? If you're looking to gain size, if you're doing hundreds of reps, a thousand reps a day, that's not particularly gonna help you to put on weight. That's gonna help with muscular endurance, depending on how you are attacking that. Right? If you want to gain size, you want to be anywhere between the 8 to 12, 8 to 15 rep range, right? Give or take, right? For me specifically, higher reps actually help around the 20 rep range, even though that's more stamina, more endurance. But I've noticed that I gain size with that rep range as well. So the video that I am showing you guys, right? The routine that I'm showing you guys is a good routine to do if you want to gain size through calisthenics, I do some weighted calisthenics, sticking to the big three, right? Around the world, so if you don't know what around the world is, pull-ups, dips, push-ups, those three movements, right? I use 25 pounds, so 25 pound attachment, um, for all three movements, where I do 10 pull-ups, 20 dips, 20 push-ups, as a big giant set, a big super set, right? Little to no rest in between those three movements, right? So I'm keeping that intensity high, right? Really working those muscles. But again, my goal or goal for this workout was to gain size. So I did five sets, five rounds of 10, 20, 20. There's a total of 50 pull-ups, 100 push-ups, one, I'm sorry, 100 dips, 100 push-ups, all with 25 pounds attached, right? So if you're looking to gain size through calisthenics, this will be a good routine to try. The weight that you use is gonna depend on you, your level of fitness, your level of strength, right? Whether that's five pounds, whether that's 25 pounds, like what I use, that can be 50 pounds. It depends on your level of fitness, your level of strength, right? And of course, again, very important, you must eat. You must take in more calories than what you are burning to gain size, right? So, um, as always, guys, follow me on the gram, Fitness Phenom 21 Subscribe to my YouTube channel, this YouTube channel, Fitness Phenom 21. Share this with a friend. If you know someone who's looking to gain size, looking to gain weight through calisthenics or through any means, share this with a friend. This may help, right? Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Enjoy the video. Let's get it. All right. I got one job. <laughs> Don't start the video like that. <laughs> All right, how many pounds is that? How many? How much weight is that? You got 25 pounds just because... Can you convert it to kilos? I want to carry all the weight over since I'm riding bike. 25 pounds. You ain't going too crazy today. I'm going Higher volume, though. Weight of pull-ups. So, weight of pull-ups. Full range of motion. Super wide. Ten. Uh, 
guys. So this is gonna be a little different, especially with the push up. So just at the pull up, now I'm super set it with weighted dip, same weight, 25 pounds, not gonna be too heavy. I'm going for 20 reps. Then right after that, I'm gonna do weighted push ups. So you guys probably haven't seen that before. Uh, something a little different. The weighted push ups, I'll show you the setup when I go ahead and do it, but it's gonna be on the dip bar with the same weight, 25 pounds. So, I got my plates here, I'm gonna reattach them. And this is gonna be a good combination for both sides. You wanna go bigger size, go more muscle, get these in. So 20 dips. Straight into 20 push-ups. These surprisingly are a lot more difficult than the dips. You'll see why. You want to make sure. You want to make sure you don't let your hips collapse. Right? Keep that core tight, nice and engaged, and not let your hips sag. So, get them dip boy. By that I mean don't do this. Stay nice and tight. Stay Ten second hold at the top. All right, one set down. Let's get it. All right, second set. I'm gonna switch up the grip. So I went wide grip the first one. Still gonna go a little wider, neutral grip. Right, but I'm gonna bring it in a little bit. So whenever I have these ladders, I like to use these just because they're a little more rare. And you get to change up the grip and hit the front end. So I went super wide, I'm gonna go out here. 10 reps. Ah, right, you on film now.
20 reps. Back to wide grip. Alright, so for my last set, I forgot to do my 10 second hold. Now, I gotta do a 20 second hold, <laughs> which is gonna be a lot more spicier. Can I do it? There's only one way to find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. So, <laughs> <laughs> you get it. Come on, let's go, let's get it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good job. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Don't make the people hate you. <laughs> I'm learning how to count. That's all life is about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10.